Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre and today's session we will discuss about Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Inventory and in Inventory we will discuss about item classes. So in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Inventory application, first we have to create the item class. So with the help of item class, we can create the item. So for creating the item, we require an item classes. And after creating the item, we have to assign our item to child inventory organization. We will see item creation and assign our item to child inventory organization in our next session. So in today's session, we will see what is item classes and how item classes is created in the instance. Okay. So before you can create an item class or an item, uh, there are some common configuration steps that you need to perform in our instance. So all are the prerequisites steps for creating an items are shown over here, like creating an organization, define unit of measures, adding life cycle phases and configuring default item classes. So all the prerequisite steps uh, is used for the setup of item in Oracle Fusion application. So the first step, first step is the create an organization. Already we seen in earlier session how to create an organization and what kind of tasks we perform in inventory organization, uh, uh, how to create particular inventory organization. We will see in our earlier session as well. The second one is unit of measures. So in define unit of measure, so for pri primarily we can say that the unit of measure is a value that specify quantities of an item, of a particular item. Unit of measures are used in inventory management applications or product management application, order management application as well. So at, uh, and last at the global promising level as well. So here are some unit of measures uh, like uh, count. Uh, Count is used for defining each. Second is our length. Length that is length. A length that we define kilometer, meters, centimeters, inches. Here third one is the time. Time is uh, time is used for defining the days, hours, weeks, minutes, and many more. So and the next is the area. Area is uh, defined for the square feet, square centimeter. So for every item, we have to define the unit of measures. With the help of unit of measures, we can we, we can perform the task. Like uh, in items, we have defined unit of measures with each. So unit of measure first. After that, we can work on our structure. So and the third step is the adding life cycle phases so adding life cycle phases is an uh, is an we can say that the an item may go through multiple stages starting from maybe prototype to obsolete okay so we will see life cycle phases in our next slide and the last is default item class or configuring default item classes so in fusion application all item must be belongs to an item class Oracle Fusion application provide an predefined item class called as root item class. You can create additional item classes as child item classes of a particular root item class. In case of all other Oracle Fusion applications, you can assign items to root class uh, root item class. Next is item life cycle phases. So for example, uh, we consider any manufacturing company let's like an example I for item like water bottle for example uh, so for manufacturer for manufacturing the water bottle first we have to define the design of our water bottle in form of CAD so what is CAD CAD is nothing but computer related design software for creating the design so in CAD we first define our design so design is our first item life cycle phase in Oracle Fusion application. So after defining the design, design department sent our design to next phase that is prototype. In the second phase, we have to make a prototype model for our water bottle. Okay. So uh, prototype phase is also known as the predefined phase as well. So after creating the prototype model of our water bottle, we will send prototype model to production or 
manufacturing department and with the help of prototype model it starts the batch production of particular water bottle and the last phase that is the obsolete so these design pre production or prototype uh, or production obsolete all our life cycle phases are predefined in the our application okay so you can see you can use any of predefined phases in according to your phase of the item in oracle fusion application if your business needs item life cycle phases you can create life cycle phases and associate your life cycle phases to the item classes okay here are the item life cycle phases are used as an indicator of the stage for, stage for an item within the life cycle process okay so like your item water bottle item life cycle phases first our item in design phase then our item goes to the prototype or pre production phase then our item is goes to the production phase and after completing production our item is goes goes at obsolete phase so this is all about item life cycle phases next is the root item class so by default oracle provides one seeded item class as root item class so in the application we, we can create n number of item class for classifying the item in the instance so based on the classification you can set the security and the controls for your classification of item so in the instance we will see how the item class is created with the item class you can create the any item in the oracle fusion application now let's go to the instance click on setting an action then click on setup and maintenance click on task and click on manage implementation project click on our project tata implementation project search task name is manage item classes click on search icon manage item classes and click on manage item classes select manage item classes row click on go to task icon okay so so the root item class here is the root item class the root item class this root item class is provided by oracle fusion application so far all the items we have selected uh, selected an item class here many item class as you can see like uh, automotive documentation electronics and computer fitness and health healthcare and retail semiconductor software industrial okay so okay so click on any of this so in industrial bearings chemical impeller all are sub item classes industrial is sub item class of root item class and in at the industrial the sub item classes are bearings chemical impeller industrial pumps motors pants we have different types of item classes over here and uh, some item class include sub sub item classes as well like here okay warranty not include any warranty and services not include any sub item classes okay so now we creating a item class okay so for creating the new item class create click on click on create icon we have to fill all the mandatory fields over here click on item class name is tata underscore steel underscore bearing click on copy we are providing same internal name as item class name in description same as that of item class click on 
just click on save and add details so now in at the tata steel bearing item class for creation of the item you have to make sure that your item creation allow checkbox is always enabled if you don't want to create any item just disable this just disable this icon so for creating the item in tata steel bearing you must have to enable this item creation allow checkbox okay uh, items like in tata steel bearing items like uh, tapered roller bearing thrust wall bearing fluid bearing cylindrical bearing items you have to enable uh, for creating any items you just have to uh, enable the item creation allowed checkbox okay so now click on item management tab under this item management tab we have couple of option first one is the number generation okay so in item number generation method we have many options like inherited from parents rule generated sequence generated and user defined let's se let's select sequence generated so for example we are selecting sequence generated whenever we create new items so sequence generated is used for whenever we create a new items one sequence is generated for that particular item or we can say that the uh, one code is generated for that particular item like in sequence number 100 set prefix as tata and increment by 1 so while we creating any item item code is generated this as tata 100 100 tata 100 and it is incremented by 1 while we creating second item it is co uh, the code for the second item is tata 1002 and while we creating third item tata 1003 it is incremented by 1 okay so far as so far as we add create new item it is incremented by 1 okay the next is the configure item number generation method so so this configure item number generation method is used for the configurator we have op we have two options in this like inherited and sequence so in accordance to your use you can select it we are selecting as inherited next is the description generation so in at the description generation the item description generation method we have many options like inherited from parent rule generator rule generated user defined uh, for example we are selecting as user defined okay now next go, now let's go to the next step called as security click on it we have multiple option here as well as per according to your use you can select now here in at the security tab here we allow respective group or particular person for creation of our item in this security tab if our user want to create an item or particular group want to or particular we can say that the particular department want to create an item we have to give the permission for that so here we are giving permission to particular user or particular group so click on add add row icon select principal as person select name as our user our implementation user or our employee user or user you can see select any of one you can select any of that click on tata search user name as tata click on search icon select our user tata okay select our organization that is tata item master organization click on tata search as tata click on search icon here our item master organization are shown over here select tata item master organization click on okay 
here where we have option for start date and end date of our particular item classes now after providing the all person or uh, we can set the all permission we have to give some actions to our user actions in form of like update delete and uh, read so you can specify privileges as per your use okay so give privileges to our user select the row so click on select an add icon here in at the actions click on search okay we have many permissions like okay scroll it down uh, scroll it down yeah okay one second scroll it down like delete update read and many permissions like maintain item pack maintain item primary group okay like the create item class create item class item okay so now so right now we are selecting all of them so in accordance to your use you can select so click on apply then just click on ok So uh, for our user, we give all the permission. Permission is shown over here like delete, read, update, view item basics, view item pack, view item structure. Okay. Just click on save and close. Okay. So this is all about creating root item class in our oracle fusion supply chain management inventory thanks for watching the video thank you